Hi everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss about insulin structure. How to remember this insulin structure in easy way. What are the different chains and intra-chain disulfide bridges. Where they are located. How this insulin is biosynthesized. All these things we will discuss in this video. Human insulin is a dimeric protein. This insulin can also be obtained from the animal source. For instance, pork insulin is somewhat similar to the human insulin except in one amino acid. Pork insulin differs at the 30th amino acid within the B chain. So B30 amino acid is different in the pork insulin. Similarly, bovine insulin differs in three amino acids. One is at the B30 just like the pork insulin and two amino acids are also different at the positions a8 and A10. So within the A chain two amino acids and within the B chain one amino acid is somewhat different in the bovine insulin. Even these amino acids are different but still these preparations produce the same pharmacological effect as human insulin. But nowadays these animal insulin preparations are somewhat less recommended because these preparations are immunogenic in nature. They can stimulate the immunity resulting in some hypersensitive reactions. That's why human insulin preparations are more preferred and nowadays these human insulin preparations can be made by rDNA technology, recombinant DNA technology. Because of advanced technology, now we can have a number of human insulin preparations with the different pharmacokinetic parameters. So regular insulin is a dimeric protein. It is made up of 51 amino acids. So it is having the two chains. One is the A chain and second one is the B chain. What is the amino acid count within the A chain and B chain? The A chain is having the 21 amino acids and B chain is having 30 amino acids. This can be easily remembered without any confusion. The difference between the A chain and B chain is nothing but 30 minus 21 that is 9. So 9 is the difference between the B chain and A chain and B chain is having the more amino acids. And these chains are connected by disulfide bridges. So disulfide bridge is present at the 7th position of A chain as well as the 7th position of B chain. Both are connected by disulfide bridge. So this can be again remembered as 21 by 3. 21 is the A chain and 3 is of the B chain. So 21 by 3 is nothing but 7. So one of the disulfide bridge is present at A7 and B7. Similarly, another disulfide bridge is present at 20th position of A chain and 19th position of B chain. So this disulfide bridge can be remembered in this way. A chain is having 21 amino acids. From that, if we subtract one, it will give A 20th position. And from that again, if we subtract another one, it will give B 19th position. So A 20 and B 19, and the disulfide bridge is present between the two peptide chains. Third disulfide bridge is present but that is within the chain that is the intra disulfide bridge. So that is at the sixth position of A chain and eleventh position of the A chain. So these are connected by disulfide bridge. This can be remembered again in this way. At the A7 one disulfide bridge is present if we subtract one it is at the A6 and for that if we add five it gives the A11. The 5 can be remembered from the total number of amino acids 51. In this way, insulin is having the three disulfide bridges at A7, B7, A20, B19 and A6, A11. Pre-proinsulin is the signal peptide which is responsible for release of insulin based on the blood glucose levels. Now this pre-proinsulin is having 110 amino acids. So it's a long chain peptide. This signal peptide is converted into proinsulin within the endoplasmic reticulum and this cleavage is mediated by signal peptidases. Now proinsulin is having 74 amino acids. So within this conversion, a chain of 36 amino acid is deleted so that pre-proinsulin is converted into proinsulin. Here we can easily remember this proinsulin is having 74 when we add 7 plus 4, it gives 11. So 110 is the pre pro insulin and 74 is the pro insulin. Now, this pro insulin, which is present in the endoplasmic reticulum, it is going to be transported into the Golgi apparatus. 
their proinsulin is converted into insulin. So within the Golgi apparatus, insulin is packed along with C peptide, which is the inactive peptide deleted from proinsulin. And this cleavage is mediated by endopeptidases type 1 as well as type 2. Now within this conversion, 23 amino acids are deleted such that it can produce a insulin chain with 51 amino acids. Pre-proinsulin is a large peptide chain. It is having similar short chain as human insulin as well as long chain. But these chains are connected by two terminals. One of the terminal is present as C-peptide and another terminal is present on the long chain which is nothing but N-terminal. This N-terminal is removed within the pre-proinsulin to produce proinsulin and here thiol groups are present which are not interconnected that means disulfate bridge is not formed in the pre proinsulin this pre proinsulin can be converted into proinsulin by removal of this n terminal this reaction is mediated by signal peptidases they can cleave this n terminal such that they can remove the 36 amino acids in this way, the pre proinsulin can be converted into proinsulin, which is the immediate precursor for insulin. Now, the proinsulin is having the structure like this. And what about the disulfide bridges? In the proinsulin, the disulfide bridges are going to be formed such that it can have two interchain as well as one intrachain disulfide bridges. The only the thing that is remaining to produce insulin is the removal of the inactive peptide chain. So this is the C peptide which is inactive and it is going to be cleaved by endopeptidases. Now these endopeptidases can cleave on both of the terminals to release the C peptide. By this the proinsulin can be converted into insulin. In this way insulin is biosynthesized from pre-proinsulin which is having 110 amino acids. Then it is converted into proinsulin which is having 74 amino acids. And in this conversion, the N terminal of the peptide chain is going to be removed. Then proinsulin is converted into insulin by removal of C peptide. In this way, proinsulin is converted into insulin, which is a dimeric protein. It is having the two peptide chains, which are interconnected by two disulfide bridges. And within the A chain, one disulfide bridge is present. Already we have seen where they are located and how easily we can remember them. So that's about this structure of insulin and its biosynthesis. In our next video, we will come with different types of insulin mixtures, how they are administered, few of the insulin mixtures are given by insulin syringe and few of them are present as flex pens and few of them are available as pen fill cartridges. All these things we will discuss in our next video. So that's for today. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends, post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.